so to pull out the general principles of what we've been saying, we can view power series as a function. If I have a power series, the sum from 0 to infinity of ci x to the i, where the ci's are constant coefficients, then the function f of x equals c0 plus c1x plus c2x squared, etc., etc., is a function of x, and its domain is the set of all values where that infinite sum makes sense, so it's the set of all values for which the series converges. For example, if I let f of x equals the power series from 0 to infinity of x to the n over 2 to the n. It's certainly a function of x because the value of the infinite sum depends on what x is. And we can actually calculate this because it's a geometric series for various values of x. And we also know that there are values of x where this infinite sum doesn't make sense, so f of x simply doesn't exist. The values of x where f of x exists, so the series converges, that's the domain of f, and the values of x where the series doesn't converge, those values of x are not in the domain of f. So we can actually evaluate the series for x equals 0, f of 0 is 1 plus 0, etc., etc., which is 1, and we know f of 1 is the sum of 1 over 2 to the n, which is 1 over 1 minus 1 half, which is 2. And we also know that the domain of f is the set of all values where the infinite sum makes sense. And we've already figured out that this is every x value between minus 2 and 2, not including the endpoints here. From our knowledge of power series, we can actually find a formula for this function for x values between minus 2 and 2. And this is 1 over 1 minus x over 2, which is 2 over 2 minus x. Now the function 2 over 2 minus x has a bigger domain than the interval from minus 2 to 2. So these two functions are not equal. They only coincide on the interval from minus 2 to 2. And in fact, in this case, you can look at f of x as the function 2 over 2 minus x with a restricted domain. So it's a piecewise defined function with f of x equals 2 over 2 minus x, and it doesn't exist outside that interval. Now, it's not always possible to get a formula for a function defined by a power series. We'll focus on that problem in subsequent lectures. It is very useful, in fact, to have a power series formula of a function for the purposes of integration and differentiation. And we'll also look at examples of that in later lectures. Today we're just going to focus on the initial problem of finding the domain of a power series or its interval of convergence.